What's up guys, this is Trey with Smart Home Starter and today we're just going to walk through how to factory reset a LG TV. So I've already gone through the steps on this one. This TV is basically in the same state as the day I bought it. So that means I have to go in and add all my passwords, download any apps as well as connect it back to the internet. So it's kind of a pain. We'll walk through that pretty easy process. But before we get into that, I'm going to give you three options to soft reset your TV. Uh, a lot of times this will help you if you're having an issue, if you're looking to sell, fast forward, we'll, we'll walk through this process uh, later in the video. So full disclosure, the three options, I tested them, obviously, and um, one of them I know worked for sure. The other ones are questionable, and one just flat out didn't work for me. So let's start with the one that did work for me, and that is actually uh, holding the physical power button on the TV uh, for 10 seconds. So I've, I've done this, as you can see, the, the screen kind of cycles through and then it turns on again. So I'm pretty sure that that soft reset it. Go ahead and try this. If it doesn't fix your issue, uh, i got a couple more for you. The next one is overly simple, right? And I completely understand that, but a lot of times this actually helps. What we're going to do is unplug the TV from the actual wall outlet. What this is going to do is allow any electric buildup to dissipate and a lot of times this does help and um, you know restore whatever was wrong with your tv to begin with i know super simple unplug it plug it back in but give it a shot now the third one that i honestly i could not get to work on this tv was um, using the remote control now what i what i was reading is you hit the power button and the volume button and hold that for 10 to 15 seconds. And what that's supposed to do is soft reset it. Now, I tried it with the volume up key, I tried it with the volume down key, and I just could not get anything to work. So um, it might work on your TV, it didn't work on mine. Give it a shot, uh, but <laughs> questionable. Now, if none of those worked and you're still seeing issues, we're gonna move into the factory reset. Um, for that, we're going to need our remote. We're going to go ahead and open up the settings. So it's settings right here. In the settings menu, we're going to scroll down to all settings. Sometimes it's called advanced settings, and we're going to open that menu. From there, we're going to scroll down. We're going to find general. Now, your menu might be a little bit different than mine, but look for general. And we're going to scroll down to system. Um, in the system menu, that's where we're going to find the option to reset the TV. So it's going to give us a couple options of how we want to reset it, but I'm just going to go ahead and select the, uh, you know, reset everything. And pretty quickly, it's going to start going into the reset mode. And eventually this is what you get. Again, this TV has been completely reset. Um, now I have to go through the setup process again. So uh, that's all I have for today. Hey, listen, if this video was helpful, please drop us a like, a comment down below. If it didn't help you comment down below too. A lot of people are watching this video and they might see something and maybe their solution worked that we haven't uh, put into this video. So um, like and subscribe. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.